What's up, it's Naz and hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Last episode we found out that Damon Merrick was holding Sarah hostage and now we have to go save Rachel's beloved mother. Let's go! Wow, that fire really burned down the mill. Just goes to show that you should never play with fire, kids. Shit. Is that blood? That is definitely blood. And that's Frank's trailer. Where could Frank be? I hope they did hurt the doggy. Frank? Frank Rooney. Wherefore art thou? No one here? Can we go inside and investigate? is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've gotta help Rachel's mom. He's gonna live through the first Life is Strange anyway, so I don't think he's in any trouble right now. Ah, back to where it all began. You guys remember the Firewalk concert? That's where we met Rachel. The love of our where life. The hell is Sarah? Now where could she be? And why is that neon still working? The fuck? A knife. Oh, let's take it. <sighs> Gotta need a weapon to defend ourselves. You know, in case things get crazy. What's this phone doing here? What's this? Let's read it. Someone's fucking lying to. I never said a word to an... A snitch? What the hell is... Oh shit. He accused Gerald after we figured out it was him. Bong? Glad to see the bong made it. Probably unusable now. Can we look at the sign? Time. No more beer. No more time. I've got to keep moving. Sarah? Where are you? Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? Tell us your secrets! Although don't come alive, please, that would freak me out. No. I'm guessing we found her! Shh. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer. And all your troubles are going bye-bye. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? He's gonna overdose her? I want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand? Why does your he- daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture, so that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. Wait. So... Yo, I am pretty sure that James I Amber know. did not, you know, want you no to kill her. Leaves it junky. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Come on, Chloe. Time for some character development. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? Use a knife? I've got your money. I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, just let her go, and I won't say- <sighs> Okay, I'm using that. Oh, fuck. Talking's over. Leave her alone. Shut up. Well, we should have used the knife. We should have used the knife. What the fuck. That's called a phone. You boosted the DA's shit. Got my money. Burned the evidence. All that. I'm just. 
trying to help. We don't want anyone dying, but if someone's gotta die, I... I would like that to be you. I said shut the fuck up! Come on, Chloe. Oh, shit! No. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Oh, shit. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with... Damon! Frank! What did you do? Save us, Frank! Oh, 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 oh. I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Frank! Go, Frank! Take him down! Holy shit. Sarah's overdosing. Rachel. Her time. She I'm not really worried about Frank, though, because he's still alive and life is strange. Chloe, you went here saying things are gonna get real, and yet... You got knocked out. Chloe Price. How oh, you know my name? How do you know my name? Y you know who I am? I saw you in the play. You were funny. You were there? Thanks. Can I call you mom? I might Sit. marry your daughter. Okie dokie, I'm sitting. Sarah. Are you okay? Probably not. To talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for Rachel. Can never know. You need help. Wait, know about what? What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with. <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. Bullshit. That's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar! James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. To the point where he tried to get Tell someone else to here. kill you? And you'll take that away from her. Forever. She deserves the truth. She deserves to meet you. And just what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? You're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I... No loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store 
and a truck ran a red light and that was it. I chose the father choice because talking about Max right now is kinda out of character. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. You quit for a year, though. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. They are far from perfect. I thought my dad was perfect. I used to think my dad was perfect. But now... I realize he was probably just as messed up as everyone. And it doesn't make me love him any less. That's a nice thought. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <sighs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Remember your letter? I can't lie to her. Don't you want to see her? The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Where are you going? Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. You know, I don't think this is Wait. real at all. I think... We're just talking to her in the afterlife now. Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe.
Okie dokie, so that was real. What do we tell her? Oh shit. All three of them are there. Um, hello, Amber family. Can my girlfriend and I have some room? So I could possibly destroy hello. your relationship together? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. So, Mr. Amber, we got a lot to talk about. Huh, punk? You know what you did? You know you hired Damon to take out Sarah? How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed. <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped, did we? We've got time. We can still head to LA. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go? Um, um it went peachy. Yeah, that's it, peachy. Rachel, I've got to tell you something. So, do we tell her, tell Rachel everything, or protect Rachel from the truth? Last and most important decision in the game, do we tell her everything, or protect Rachel? Oh no, we've gone through so much. After all this, do we just tell her that Sarah's gone forever? Or do we tell her that her dad's a lying scumbag, but really just wants to protect her? Oh, lies, 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 lies. Do we tell that big lie to protect her? And you know, fabricate an entire life for her, happy as it may be, or ruin her life forever, just so she could know the truth. Ah, fuck this. What's wrong? I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny, you seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. How perceptive of you. Me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know wherever she is, she loves you very much. How do you know that? A little birdie told me. A little drugged up, Birdie. Because... Why should she be any different from the rest of us? Oh, that's a smooth line. Well, we're just gonna stay here, have a little moment, and enjoy each other's company. Oh, Chloe, Chloe, Chloe!
well, it's good to see that, you know, David is... Oh, right. He married our mom. I forgot. Well, I personally am happy. Louis pissed, though. But okay. It's good to see our mom happy. Oh god, Elliot. Elliot's still around. Wait, is he moving? Looks like he's moving. Dang, even Drew is getting into D&D. Oh shit, it's Nathan. Oh no, Nathan. Nathan, you poor little beta. Oh shit. We have our signature beanie. Bye, Principal Wells. Just taking our girlfriend for a ride. Our soon-to-be killed girlfriend that's gonna die in Life is Strange. But we're gonna spend all our time together before that. I'm not crying, you're crying. It's the fucking lighthouse. It's the lighthouse from the first game. Bye-bye, Mr. Raven. You were weird as fuck, but I'm gonna miss you. Fly into the sunset like the mysterious asshole you are. Oh, our hair. Oh my god. That's the Chloe Price we know. The secret base looks great! And it seems like we got our tattoo! Hey, they got their tattoos! Well, that's it. The final episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. It doesn't explain how Rachel Amber got killed, since we already know that from the original game, but at least we saw Chloe's development as a character, from timid high school girl to hella cool chick in Life is Strange. It's been an honor completing another series with all of you, and I can't thank you all enough for joining this ride with me. Right now, there's only one episode left, a bonus episode featuring Chloe and Max. So we have that to look forward to. So far, even though the game has a lack of supernatural elements like time traveling, there were still a lot of mysterious moments that we still couldn't explain. 
but that didn't take away from the experience, and even though the game wasn't made by the original devs, I think these devs have got the spirit of Life is Strange right. With all that said, if you enjoyed this whole series, like and subscribe so we can grow our channel together. Once again, my name is Nez, and thanks for watching. See you all next time, and have a hella good time, everyone. Bye! Got some after credit scenes. Let's see what happens now. Aw, they look so cute. It's too bad she's gonna die. Oh, what? Oh, no, no! Shit! Oh, no! It's... Nathan and the professor. Fuck.